This is John Giever from EdPage Today in Boston for the AASLD meeting. HCV protease inhibitors for hepatitis C are one of the hot topics at this year's meeting with several high profile reports. Dr. Paul Kuo of Indiana University in Indianapolis reported a couple of studies on one of these called Bocepravir. The analysis took a closer look at the previously reported SPRINT-1 study of Bocepravir. This was a post hoc analysis of uh, our study where we looked at the lead-in arms. That is, there are individuals in two of the arms that received pegylate interferon alpha-2b and ribavirin for four weeks prior to the addition of Bocepravir. So in this study, these individuals have very accurate viral kinetics for the first four weeks. Then we added the Bocepravir. And in this study, we looked at the response in this first four weeks. We know now that viral kinetics are very important in determining not only likelihood of response, but also uh, it also helps predict duration of therapy. And so these individuals we looked at and were most interested in are those who have less than a one log reduction after four weeks of PEG and ribavirin. And we have the recently published ideal study in 3,000 individuals who received PEG interferon and ribavirin. And we know that if you have less than a one log reduction uh, at week four, your chance of sustained response is very low, less than 5%. And also your chance of early virologic response, less than two logs at 12 weeks, is also very low, less than 5%. So these, in general, are the evolving definitions of null responders. One would think that adding a STAT-C agent, such as Bisepravir, would in fact lead to high rates of resistance and poor response rates. But instead, we surprisingly saw very good sustained response rates. In fact, 55% in patients who took the drug for 44 weeks. The important thing, though, was when looking at all the data, it was not possible to predict, based on the log reduction, who would go on to sustain response and who would not. And interestingly, when we looked at pretreatment factors to predict no response, only blacks compared to Caucasians or others predicted non-response. But even these individuals could go on to sustain response. Phase two data were also reported here for another HCV protease inhibitor called telaprevir. I asked Dr. Quo to compare the two agents. What we have seen um, is that both have been studied. The study designs are entirely different. I can tell you both are going to be a substantial improvement upon, over the standard of care. Both are going to make substantial contributions to our therapeutic armamentarium as we move forward, and they seem very comparable therapies. In Boston, I'm John Giever, MedPage Today.